Let's um, let's get stuck into the big one. The big uh, boy. The double yeah. IPA. Silver bullet. Can. It's uh, and the fact that, as I said before, it was the first can we made. Uh, we're pretty, you know, a proud of the can, but all really proud of the beer and the way it drinks. And uh, I think it's resonated uh, with Australians in the fact that it, uh, one thing I'm really pleased about, not from our point of view, but uh, people understood the beer enough to uh, you know realise that when they voted it for the number three in the uh, top 100 back yeah. in January, you know, that blew us away completely because uh, you know for an 8.8% uh, heavily hopped. American style double IPA yeah. being rated number three in the country it was nuts. So. Yeah, it's going to be it's a bit nice, it's a big beer, but it's uh, I think it's pretty well balanced. So it's got um, a lot of bitterness, but you got the malt there to, to balance things out, um, and uh, gives us a nice, nice uh, big canvas to be able to throw all the hops that we want at it to um, uh, to get the flavours that, that we want out of a beer. You know, it's, it's an indulgence uh, kind of beer. You know. You don't have to have a million of them. You can have a crack, but um, you, don't, you don't have to. But uh, um, if you only want to have one beer or two beers, have one of these and you get your hot fix and you're, you're pretty happy. And you've uh, certainly got your alcohol fix. So that's uh, running 8.8%. 8, 8. 8.8%. 8. So you know, if, you, well, if you get home and you know, it's a cold winter's night and the log fire's going, you have one of these and you're in pretty good space. Could be a bit dangerous. It goes yeah. down pretty smoothly though. So yeah. That's the trouble, yeah. Um, mm. But... Uh, yeah, it's not it's probably beers we haven't really had to play around with it. Uh, original recipe is probably still running now. Yeah. Uh, we might um, try and pump up the hops maybe a little bit more and, and um, get a bit more get a bit more out of it. But um, yeah, it's uh, certainly helped us kind of launch into uh, into the Australian craft beer world um, pretty pretty solidly. Um, so we uh, use a blend of uh, uh, British and uh, Australian uh, malt. Yep. Um, a little sprinkle of uh, some German caracals and wheat. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a fun beer to brew. It uh, fills up the mash on uh, pretty nicely. It's got, it's got a little bit of room in there, but uh, uh, I know the guys brewing it enjoy enjoy uh, when, they, when they crack one out. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, all our beers are, are quite heavily hopped and uh, lots uh, really late, a lot of dry hopping. Uh, that's something I think we do quite well is um, getting a, a dry hop character uh, into the beer. So. Uh, Columbus is used uh, early on for, for, for bittering. Mm -hmm. um, we target about 120 IBUs, but the malt in there, and you, you, you never get that efficiency. So I don't know, it probably sits around 60, 70, 80 um, IBUs. And um, if it didn't have that bitterness there, it'd be a big fuzzy mess. It would fall over. It'd be uh, uh, too, uh, too uh, chewy. You know, and bitterness there to kind of balance things out. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, a whole heap of uh, Centennial, Simcoe, uh, and Mosaic, our, um, our little darling uh, Mosaic, um, to, to yeah, give that nice big, big citrus characters, big, uh, big, sure. big hot flavours, a bit of resin and pine. And